Hey guys, I'm back and I'm better. No, but I am back. And you might be wondering, why haven't you posted a video in almost two months? And I have many reasons. They're probably not good to be excused, but when I record, I record on my phone. And that's one, because I don't have room. And another one is because low-key lost interest in making videos don't have any ideas I have barely enough time but I'll keep trying so are you so I'm doing my first story time and I love watching these videos and maybe making them but I don't know okay so this story is about the time I got a black eye my handy dandy notebook i wrote down the date pretty sure so this was almost this was a year ago on wednesday it was a wednesday on may 27th 2015 if you didn't know i play softball and softball you get hurt a lot my coach's sister was hitting so she would hit him and then they would like bounce so I was next, and then she told me to come closer because she wanted me to learn how to catch them like when they're really bouncy. And then I was like, no, 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 I can't. I don't want to get hurt. I told her that. And she's like, no, come closer. So I came closer, and she hit it, and I thought I was going to catch it, and it, I think it popped on a rock. I don't know. But it, like, popped up, and I was trying to catch it, and I looked down, and it popped into my eye. And then, I don't know if you can still see, it's like, you see, I have a scar from it. I have pictures. Here's one picture. Yeah. So, I couldn't see out of this eye for about two weeks. I, like, when it hit me, I, like, went like that, and I looked up at everyone, and they were all staring. And I just went like that. I literally had a pool of blood in here. I could have gone swimming in my hands in blood. And then I... I like, I freaked, like, there was blood dripping on me, what do you want me to do, laugh? No, I'm gonna cry. But I didn't cry, actually. It, like, all over me, it was just dripping. And then my coach put her hand over here, props to her, I would never touch anyone's, any other person's blood. And I was just holding it, or she was holding it, and a teammate was giving me water, and then... I was like that, and I was like, look, and I was like, Ooh, and she's like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, okay, don't cry, don't cry, because like, my team was watching, I'm not going to cry. So, then she was like, okay, go to the bathroom and like wipe her up, and then this is when I took this picture. I took that picture in the bathroom with my friend Arlette, and we were walking out, and Arlette goes, Lexi, you look pale, and I was like, because I thought I was going to faint. I sat down, I was so scared, I thought I was going to faint. So I went back, and I called my mom. And she came to pick me up. And then when I got home, then I started crying. Because I was, like, worried. And my brother was with his friends. And he was, like, he came in to see. And he was, like, I think you have to go get stitches. My mom didn't take me to get stitches. And it was, like, opened. So then I just laid down. The next day was Thursday. And Friday, I didn't go to school. I was so embarrassed. My eye was like this. Would you go to school if you look like that? No, I wouldn't either. So I stayed home for a couple days. I, the next day or the day before, I went to get shoes and I had my hand like this the whole time. And people asked me, why are you covering your, your eye? I think that's rude. Like, don't ask me, I don't want to show you. I was like this the whole time trying on shoes. And it was really, people would take pictures like this and they would post them on their like Instagram and story and I was like whatever. And I'm like I was sleeping and I look like the devil. Look. Do I look like the devil? They posted that on Facebook. Then it started getting better and it looked like I just had eyeshadow. It looked like I had eyeshadow. And yeah, I went to school on a Monday and it was still like that. And people were like looking at me like, oh, you got fight, you got in a fight and you lost. And like, they would spread rumors that 
I got in a fight and then I lost and that I mean we spread rumor that I got in a fight but I wouldn't lose like don't say I lost but so that's what made me not want to go to school anymore because they kept saying that's the end of the story time and I will be doing more videos but don't know when I can't promise every Sunday like I used to but I think I will because I'm on summer break and I'll have more more time and yeah I just want to say sorry again for not posting a video in almost two months so yeah make sure to like this video comment if you ever had an injury and don't forget to subscribe she's a young girl talking about